Hello, welcome back to Cami Designs. And today we're going to finish up the pot holder. In the last video, you were working around this chain here. And I have got it so it's like a pocket here. And if you want it really big, you can just continue to go back and forth this way and then just stitch it together. So like this one is a smaller one. And so I'll just keep going in the in the round and then when I get to the top I'll just stitch these two closed but with this one I can have it go to the center like this kind of make a triangle two triangles and then they'll meet in the middle so what I want to do is I want to this is the start of my row but I want to continue to single crochet down to this corner here and I already put a marker here so I know when to stop. And then I'm going to show you how to stitch it together. Now, so I'm just going to single crochet down to that corner piece. And this pattern is basically single crochet and you'll do a slip stitch here to close it. But it's fairly easy and it can work up pretty fast and then this is cotton yarn which you'll want to use cotton yarn for any kind of cooking things anything that heat is might go to because acrylic has a chance of melting it won't always melt but there is a chance that it could melt so i use cotton yarn for pot holders placemats um, coasters, anything that might get wet also is good for, with cotton yarn. Okay, and I'm going to do a single crochet into this one that I had the marker in. Now I want a little loop on here so I can hang it if I want to. If I want to. So I'm just going to chain three, I'm going to do six. Three, four, five, six. And then I'm going to single crochet into this one right here in the corner. Okay, and there is my little loop. Now, this is going to look a little difficult, but it really is not. I want to pinch these two triangle pieces together like this. And I want to kind of line up my stitches. And it might be hard to tell. So this is this row, and then this is the other row. And I want to go with my front loop on this side. So my loop that's facing me here. Let me get something to point at it with. So I want to go with this loop here, but then the back loop here. So let me show you how that looks. So I'm going to pick up my front loop and my back loop and I'm just going to slip stitch into that one and then I want to do the front loop and back loop and slip stitch so front loop back loop slip stitch Oops, my yarn is getting stuck here So, front loop, back loop, slip stitch, front and back, and it will have like a little ridge here, and I'm okay with that, but if for some reason you don't like that, which is fine. Um, you can, um, what I would do for that is, and you will still want the loop, I would chain, when you get to this corner, chain six, and then just single crochet all the way back around to your first one. And then I would cut my yarn at a, at a decent length here, and then, um, just stitch it with the yarn needle. 
but I don't mind this ridge, so I just, and I find this easier. So just slip stitch. Oops, if I get a hold of my yarn here. Front. Back. Slip stitch. And I just want to continue to do this all the way to the end here. So. Okay. Since I'm at this one here, I want to actually unhook this because the beginning doesn't really matter anymore. I'll pick up my yarn here. So front, back, slip stitch. And this is yarn from the Dollar Tree. I don't know if I mentioned that. And it is cotton yarn. And you can get this in all kinds of different colors. And it did not even use a whole skein of a yarn. And I'll show you. So this is what the skeins look like at the Dollar Tree. And um, it's just over 100 yards. So you could easily buy two skeins and probably get three pot holders out of it. Okay. And it takes a little, I mean, a little time, but it's not bad. And I just did pink just because I like pink. But if you want to make these for um, housewarming gifts, that's, you know, it's a perfect idea. You can go with their color scheme. Um, I would not recommend doing them in white. Just because, I mean, they could get dirty and stained. Um, but if, they, if you like white, then go ahead and do white. Okay. And I'm getting to the end here. And see, now I can kind of pinch it together and it, oops, it holds them so I can just pick up the stitches. Okay, and I'm almost done here. Okay, and now I'm going to go through just this one stitch here and slip stitch this one. And now what I'll do is I'll take my scissors here and I'll just cut just a little bit of length here. And I want to pull a knot here just to kind of secure it. And then I want to take my yarn needle and I always recommend doing this. I always recommend weaving in a little bit because if for some reason this knot comes undone and I cut it right here, the whole thing is gonna come undone. So I just take my yarn needle here, which you can get a pack of these at Walmart for a couple bucks. I have not seen them at the Dollar Tree. Doesn't mean that they're not there in some areas. Um, and then what I do is I just weave it in. It doesn't have to be perfect. I just don't want it to come undone. And I'd say that's pretty good. And I'll just cut off any excess here. 
And then once again, this is my one from my chain. And I just want to do the same thing as weave this in. And get my yarn into my yarn needle here. Just like that. And then I just want to, I'll just weave it back and forth along this seam here. Just like that. And then I'll just pull it through. And then take that off. And then I'll just cut this. And there we go. We got a nice little pot holder. It's pretty thick. It's, it's got a good thickness to it. It does have the seam here. Once again, if you don't like it, you can just stitch them together and it'll lay flat. And then it's got a little loop here to hang it from. Um, and that's it. And I hope you enjoyed this simple pot holder pattern with cotton yarn. I'm using just Premier. Dollar Tree yarn. I used size hook H. It's H8 and it's 5 millimeter. Let's see if I can get it. There we go, a little bit. It's kind of hard to see with these hooks. Um, some Dollar Trees do carry this um, H hook, 5 millimeter, but they are, like, their needle needles plastic. And last time I went to my Dollar Tree, they did not have these. Um, so I could show you how they work, but I got this, you can get this for a couple bucks at Walmart and there are Walmarts everywhere. So, you know, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up so I can know to make more videos similar to this. And if you want to subscribe, that would be wonderful. When I reach a thousand subscribers, I will start giving away free patterns from my Ravelry. And I will be sure to type this pattern up and post it for free on my Ravelry store. So you can just go to that link in my description and download the pattern for free and then you can have it forever. And I do not care if you want to make these, sell these, give these away. I just please ask that you, if someone wants to make the pattern, share my link so they can download the pattern themselves. And I think that's it. So have a wonderful day and I will see you later. Bye.